Welcome to the online training, Water Well Disinfection. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. A properly constructed and maintained water well system is designed to keep microorganisms out of the well and the water. Such microorganisms include bacteria, viruses, and protozoa. Some bacteria, protozoa, and viruses are pathogens that make people sick. They may pose a special risk for infants, young children, and people with severely compromised immune systems. When a water test indicates the presence of such microorganisms, an inspection of the well system and area around the well head is recommended. Such a well system inspection can identify any breach in the well system, and identify a contamination source. Once the underlying reason for bacteria's presence in the well is addressed, the well should be disinfected. Other times a well system should be disinfected include after initial construction and before water is consumed, the water should test free of bacteria. After an existing well is serviced, opening a well can expose it to bacteria. And if there is a visible defect in the well system, some damage or deterioration can provide an entry point for microorganisms. Question. When a lab test indicates the presence of microorganisms in the water, disinfection will fix the problem. True or false? Sometimes disinfection will fix the problem, but not always. So the answer is false. Question. The causes of bacteria in wells are high concentrations of microorganisms from animal waste and failing septic systems. True or false? Sometimes bacteria do get into the groundwater from failing septic systems and concentrations of animal waste, for instance, from animal lots. However, other times the problem is with the well rather than the contamination source. So the answer is false. Question. Good reasons for a water well inspection are, one, to find out how microorganisms are getting into the well, two, to find existing pathways where microorganisms could get into the well, three, to find where maintenance is needed to prevent breaches in the well system from occurring, four, numbers one and two, and five, all of the above. The answer is number five, all of the above. An inspection by a qualified water well system professional is critical to diagnosing problems that could result in microorganisms entering and growing in the well system. Question. Times a well system should be disinfected include, one, after well construction and before water is consumed, two, after an existing well is serviced, three, if there is some damage or deterioration that provides a pathway for microorganisms into the well, four, numbers one and two, and five, all of the above. The answer is all of the above. Disinfection by a qualified water well system professional is critical to keeping the well system free of microorganisms throughout the life of the system. Importantly, 
If damage or deterioration has created a pathway for microorganisms into the well, a qualified professional should fix the problem, then disinfect the well system. Who is qualified to disinfect a water well? To be on the safe side, use a water well system professional. Proper disinfection involves chemistry, proper application techniques, proper contact time, and disinfection of the entire system. Common problems with well owners attempting to disinfect their own wells include overchlorination and damage to well equipment, poor distribution of disinfectant, damage to well components due to corrosive water, inadequate contact time between disinfectant and microorganisms, failure to address disinfection inhibiting factors within the well, an inability to understand or follow proper disinfection procedures. Warning, chlorine compounds are powerful oxidants that induce chemical reactions that can start chemical reactions. If spilled on grease or oil, possibly explode or ignite. Via chlorine dust or vapors, damage mucous tissues, such as the respiratory tract. Some disinfectants are certified for drinking water use. Others are not. The National Groundwater Association recommends disinfection products certified by an accredited agency such as NSF International, an independent product testing organization. NGWA does not recommend using household bleach because it is not made for use in drinking water, it is not the most effective form of chlorine uh, disinfection, and it has a poor shelf life. Remember, if a well is properly disinfected but a follow-up test shows bacteria has returned, Remember, this could indicate a breach in the well system allowing bacteria in, a concentrated contamination source such as a failing septic system or animal lot, and that the well needs to be cleaned so that the disinfectant can come into contact with any bacteria in the well. Use a qualified water well system professional to inspect your well system, conduct any indicated maintenance, identify problematic contamination sources and how to eliminate the problem, and to disinfect your well system. Question. Why should most well owners not try to disinfect their well systems themselves? One, most well owners don't have the knowledge, skills, or equipment needed to do it properly. Two, there is potential to damage components of the well system. Three, certain disinfection compounds can ignite or explode under the right conditions. Four, some disinfection compounds create a dust or vapors that can damage mucous tissues such as the respiratory tract. Five, all of the above. And six, number one. The answer is number five, all of the above. Question, household bleach is one of the best disinfectants that can be used for household water wells. True or false? The answer is false. Household bleach is not made for use in drinking water. 
it is not the most effective form of chlorine for well disinfection, and it has a poor shelf life, which can make it even less effective. Other disinfectants are certified as safe and effective for application in water wells if used properly. For more information about this topic and others, visit www.wellowner.org to find out more about useful well owner tools, including a private well owner hotline, a monthly private well owner tip sheet, more online well owner lessons, and free well owner webinars. Don't forget to check wellowner.org for other online lessons if you have questions like, what should I test my water for? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? What should I do if my well floods? How do I get water treatment? And what should I know about getting a new well?